Cancer, welcome. It's your heart spread reading, the end of December 2021. This is reading the one you just can't get off your mind. So keep that in mind as we go along here. Not necessarily the one you're with, or but this one that you can't get out of your mind. You can even be happily married and you still got this person stuck there. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking to read here. It's always significant, I think, these things. So this is showing you, your energy, when you came into this relationship, what you brought to this relationship, uh, where your mind and heart is at in and around relationships. And then the number two position is your person. Um, here, the king of swords. Um, air sign, this is really screaming air sign, though, because also the way they're reacting to you once they're in the relationship is the queen of swords. Um, so we're talking about a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius personality, uh, male or female, for sure. And then, you know, you have the happy bachelor card. So it, it, when you met them, you weren't like desperate. You weren't looking for love. You weren't on a dating site. Um, you were probably just living your life. Um, and they showed up. And probably what impressed you was like how... Probably how intelligent they were. They probably, uh, the way they carried themselves, their confidence. Um, uh, this is a, a sapio, uh, bio kind of energy where you just like, you, you maybe fell in love with their mind at first type of energy. Um, and then the way you reacted to them with this Ten of Pentacles. I mean, you you couldn't be all more all in than the Ten of Pentacles. This is how you felt about them. Or how are you feeling about them? I get the feeling this was in the past. Um, unless you're involved with this person that you just can't get off your mind. But there's a real pull here. I get the feeling the way they're reacting towards you is the Queen of Swords, which is more significant because I also read the difference between the Nine of Cups and the Ten of uh, Pentacles. And the King of Swords and how they're reacting to your Queen of Swords. So uh, very much in alignment, but they're kind of in alignment with themselves. It's like um, they want it their way. They want it uh, just so. They Then they're probably telling you, laying it all out, you know. Um, I want this. I want that. Um, it's just kind of a selfish kind of dominating energy. And their advice from Spirit with the Five of Wands is... You know, bickering and arguing is not going to get you anywhere in a relationship. And, you know, also, I think, comes to mind the advice that you can't win a relationship, perhaps. And this is for your person. And this is showing how uh, their advice from spirit, for best, how best to react to you in this relationship. And this is showing your advice from spirit on how best to react to them. I feel like in terms of this relationship, you had absolute integrity. Um, you didn't give yourself away. You were emotionally whole. Um, you gave yourself completely, honestly, openly here. Um, you know, the nine, the nine of Cups is the perfect energy in this position, the one or two position. Right? Because this is when you're ready to get married and get the Ten of Cups. You know, you're completely fulfilled yourself and you're ready to get that Tenth Cup. The Tenth Cup is someone else bringing you their Ace of Cups and then you get Ten of Cups. Um, but it doesn't seem that's what happened. I, I get the feeling like on their part it was like negotiations. Um, and even with Spirit, I feel like with the Six of Pentacles... It's uh, the advice from spirit is uh, don't let this harden you. Uh, don't let this um, change you. Uh, don't let this stop you from giving yourself in this Ten of Pentacle way in the future. And, you know, obviously don't try to do it with the wrong person. But, you know, I, I don't see where, you know, when all is said and done, you know, you're not hurt out of this. And, you know, this person with the energy they're bringing, I, I don't really see that ever changing. So whatever it was that you admire about them, you know, it's it's not it, it, the kind of thing you could possibly live with in a relationship. It's, um, yeah, wow, what was that movie with Alan Alda? And he had an affair for like 30 years. They met only one day a year. And um, 
that kind of energy, it's like you could probably tolerate them or they could tolerate you um, for a very short period of time. Um, but in terms of a relationship, you know, I got the feeling like um, it's just going to be all about them. And I don't think it's going to be very fulfilling. But I don't think you've ever had the experience of this because you haven't really been with them for an ex extended period of time. Now, this is the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. And I'm going to take this as advice for you down here, this Four of Swords. I always consider this the most important card in the reading, even more than the outcome here in the center. But clearly Spirit is advising you that you need to heal. And these are thoughts, you know, swords, communication. Um, this is a soldier that's come back from a battle and has given homage to the dead and fallen soldiers that they fought beside. And maybe giving thanks for the fact that they're alive to do this and not in the coffin, that type of energy. So it's maybe like you uh, doing that um, in, in the way of sort of putting this behind you. It kind of tells me that, you know, sometimes you say, well, don't think about these things. Well, hopefully this reading is helpful. It could be the reading coming in and helping you. Um, but um, you, you maybe need to think about this because these are thoughts and put this into perspective. I, you know, I had a relationship, I think, a little bit like this in this that she was a, the most amazing woman I've ever known. Um, and, and she said all the right things. You know, but later when it was said and done, I kind of realized, like I'm thinking with this person, that we just really weren't right for each other. You know, when we try to fit together, you know, it probably wouldn't wouldn't have worked, no matter how good some of it was. Um, and this is maybe something like what you're going to realize when you're in this energy. Uh, because you've got, like, the outcome is a queen of pentacles, and that has got to be you. You know, this is a cancer showing up, being very strong, knowing their own worth, totally solid. It's like, I'm going to say this, when, when you're done healing from this, this relationship will not have phased you. And then look at the bottom of the deck, the nine of pentacles. So you're showing up, this is kind of your energy, what I see with the bottom of the deck. So you're showing up with the nine of pentacles energy and a nine of cups energy. And this is what you're going to go back to. When it's all said and done, you're still in your nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy, and you're still the queen of pentacles here. Um, so it's kind of like a story of they didn't really get to you that bad. Um, I hope, I hope that's the story um, because <laughs> that would be good. And I, and I definitely get the sense that no, it, at any point in a, in a Venus or a retrograde or Mercury retrograde, God forbid, and they ring you up uh, down the road. Um, no. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Let me know what you think of that reading. And um, do share if you can think of any platforms to share on. I would appreciate your help. Like would help a lot. Do comment. I'll try to respond. I do appreciate all, all the comments. Please do subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell. Thank you.